the Rising Sun Farms Maiden is next. It's another chase. Uh, top we got Carson City, Paul Rose, Lucky Ending, David Hooley, Right Beauty for Obi Wan, Sarando, Matt Cooper, School Doggery, Pleasant, Padraig Hogan, The Combat King, Joshua Sullivan, Alien Captain, Leon Van Rensburg, Decadent Lady, Jim Murray, Las Parcelas for Darren Thompson, Like Bustle, David Robertson, Lucrania, Stu Gray, Milady Marina, Padraig Hogan, and Sierra's Owls for Derek Hollywood Hinton. So 13 then. Thanks to start in this third chase of the day. Race number four, away we go. And Alien Captain down on this near side is going to be the first one to show it would seem. As they sort themselves out through the first third, I say they've got 18 fences to take this time. And Alien Captain is in the lead, but I don't think it's going to be there much longer because Right Beauty seems to be really keen on taking up the lead. And it's done so over that first fence. So right Beauty it is then. Front runner for Obi Wan in the lead. Make it down to the second. Took that a little bit slowly though. Milady Marina jumped up on its inside. Also moving forward, Sarando. And the pace is not that hot as they get over the third. And yet, Lucrania is still a couple of lengths adrift of the rest of them. So you would guess that's done deliberately to keep her out the back and hold her up rather than she can't keep up with them. And it's right beauty who's in the lead as they come to the fifth over it they go good jump on the inside by sarando who's now gone on and sarando is the new leader from right beauty and like bustle around the outside is also moving up into that leading group the combat king is also in that little group as well and lucrania is now no more than three quarters of a length behind the horse in front which is skullduggery pleasant but it's Sarando that's in the lead from Right Beauty second and Alien Captain third. And Light Bustle is fourth and the Combat King fifth. And Lady Marina has dropped back a little bit. Sarah's Owls on the inside is going to be a bit cramped for room as they get over number six. But they're all over it okay. It's called Dougery Pleasant and Lady Marina towards the back now for Padraig Hogan as they get to the seventh. Which they're all safely over. It's Sarando continuing to lead. Two lengths up on Right Beauty second. Bustle third, the Combat King four as they get over eight. Which they all get over nicely. Caught past the stand. Take this fence, it'll be the last next time round. They're all safely over it. Sarando then. He's three clear passing the winning post with the right beauty in second. And then the Combat King is third, last pass alas is fourth, and then comes Alien Captain and Light Bustle and Sarah's Owls and Lucky Indian and Carson City and Decadent Lady. And then Milady Marina, School Doggery Pleasant, and finally Lucrania, just the back marker, but no more than 12 or 15 lengths off the lead. And that lead is held by Sarando. Coming down to the final mile. And Sarando, a length clear. Alien Captain who looks like he's coming up alongside now to challenge the Combat King also moving forward as those two big guns start to make their move but Sarando responds and jumps better than the two of them and is back in front again. Sarando from the Combat King, Alien Captain, the last pass, alas, is on the inside, right beauty still there, jumping well as well, Sarah's Owls tagging on the back of that little leading group, the one at the back now is School Duggery Pleasant as Lucrania started to make some ground, they're getting over that ditch and the Combat King has now gone on from Alien Captain in second, Sarando starts to give way on the inside, last pass, last moves up into third, then comes right beauty, like bustle, Sarah's Owls is next, Jim Murray's Grey starting to run on as well, that's decadent later, they get down to the 14th, and over that one they go and they're all safely over it again with the combat king in the lead the best part of two lengths clear of last pass last an alien captain then decadent lady and light bustle then sarah's owls then a bit of a gap to lucky ending sarando's now beating a retreat right beauty is also going backwards but they race down towards the final three furlongs and the final four fences then and it's the Combat King who's in the lead from Sarah's Isles who's now a clear second. Decadent Ladies into third. Then comes Alien Captain in fourth. And then after that one is Lucky End. And it's probably between these or no. Last pass, last and light bottle are trying to run on over the third. Last they go. Decadent Lady comes up alongside the Combat King. Decadent Lady hits the front. Goes half length clear. It's Decadent Lady then. Up the centre of the track. Gets over the second. Last hands in the lead. But the, the Combat King is fighting back. Decadent Lady now looks a little bit tired. Alien Captain and Lucky End are coming into it as well. 
Here's the final fence over it. They go and it's almost three in a line. It's the Combat King Alien Captain. And lucky ending the three and they'll flash it past the post together and split them yourselves. I can't tell you which one of those three's won that. It's mighty close. And the angle is always very, very deceptive. You can see where the winning post is and the Combat King has at least got a share of it. Wouldn't have wanted to call that past the post. It was not the angle to be calling it. And it's the comeback king for Joshua Sutherland has taken it. Alien captain for Leon van Rensburg second. Lucky ending for David Hooley was third. Last pass last for Darren Thompson fourth. And Sarah Zales for Derek Hinton was fifth.